The organizations where we live, where we work, where we play, where we worship, change everything about our lives. I live in organizations. They change who we are. They change what we are. So how do we think about those organizations? How do we understand them? How does the concept of organization as an intangible idea become real? When we ask people to draw an organization, what they usually do is some kind of hierarchy. Here's the top, here's the boxes, here's the slots. That assumption about organization is morphology, it's shape, it's structure, it's roles, it's rules, it's what I do. And many of us have lived in those organizations. In school, we have our professor, we have the dean, we have the college head, we have the president. In our company, we have the manager, the director, the vice president. We have these organizations. What's happening in today's world is the concept of organization is fundamentally shifting. If I were to ask you, what organization do you admire other than your own? The list is so fun. We get the same companies. And these are the companies that, that Arthur and I have studied. Google, Amazon, Apple. Tencent, Alibaba, Huawei, Hire, Facebook. And then we say, tell me about their structure. How many levels of management? What titles do they have? And the people go, I have no clue. And I don't care. Organization is not the structure. The reason you admire a company is what it's known for and good at doing. Facebook is known for connecting. Apple is known for innovation. Uh, Amazon is known for incredible customer service. Hire is known for technological advancement. An organization's identity, what it's known for, is what we call their capability. And an organization has a set of capabilities. Pick any firm you admire. Disney is known for service, so is Marriott. Apple is known for innovation. A firm has an identity in the marketplace as characterized by its capability. Our study is what are those capabilities and how much impact do they have on firm performance. So a few years ago, we did a major study with 1,200 businesses. And we said in those studies, how good are your people, their skills? How good is your organization, the capability? What we found is that the organization had four times the impact on business performance than the individual skills. Individuals are terrific but organizations cause victory. If we want to create a victory through organization, we've got to get the right capabilities that customers will value. And in our research, we identified three. Customer anticipation. Do I anticipate and serve customers? Innovation, everywhere in the company, and agility throughout. So here's my challenge. How good is your organization at those capabilities that help us win?